Hello friends, thank you for watching this video. I hope everyone is doing good. So in this video, I'm going to talk about ECA, which is Education Credential Assessment, why it is required, from where you can get your education done, what are the process of getting the ECA, and at the end, I will show you about my actual ECA report, which I did back in, back in October 2019. So let's start the video. So what is ECA and why it is required? You know, ECA is, is used to verify that your foreign degree, diploma or certificate is valid and equivalent to Canadian degree. If you have watched my CRS school calculator video, which I posted few weeks ago, in that one I mentioned that IRCC give points for your age, for your education, your work experience, job offer in Canada and so on. So to claim a points for your education, the Canada government want to make sure the degree, whether it's diploma, bachelor, master or PhD, which you have studied in your respective country is equivalent to Canadian degree. So the IRCC want to make sure if you have studied bachelor degree in India or in UAE, that is equivalent to Canadian bachelor degree. Similarly, if you have done master's degree in your country, it is equivalent to Canadian master's degree and so on. I also want to let you know that you can also earn points for your spouse education if they are coming with you to Canada. For example, if you are a primary applicant and your wife is a secondary applicant and if she has done bachelor's degree, then it will be a good idea to get her ECA also done so that you can claim a point for her education for her bachelor's degree. Similarly, if wife is a primary applicant then and if the husband has completed his master's or bachelor's degree, then he can also claim his point for his education. Now the question becomes, you know, what assessment that you need to get assessed? Like for example, if you have done bachelor degree, master's degree or PhD, which assessment will you need to get an assess? So in most cases, you only need an assessment for your highest level of education. For example, if you have done your master's degree, you only need an assessment for that degree. You don't need to do an assessment for your bachelor's degree. Similarly, if you have done your PhD degree, you only need an assessment for your PhD degree. You don't need an assessment for your master's degree. So that is a very important point that you need to remember when you are filling out the uh, assessment form. And here are the five designated organization which is listed by IRCC. The first one is Comparative Education Service, which is University of Toronto School of Continuing Study. The second is International Credential Assessment Service of Canada. The third is World Education Service, WES, and which we're going to talk about later. The fourth is International Qualification Assessment Service. And the last is International Credential Evaluation Service. Now let's start the video. So simply type WES. It will take you to first page, which is WES.org. So click that link. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to select get started if you haven't created your account. Now here you can see there are three steps from the WES. The step one is submit your application and receive your WES reference number. Step two, after you get your reference number, you need to submit your document to the WES and you must indicate your WES reference number on all documents sent to WES. The third and the final step is the, e the WES will verify your credential, will create your report and deliver to your recipient. Now before you start, it's very important that you look at the document requirement which is required when you are sending a document. So click on document required. And the first question X asks about equivalency current country. This is the country whose standard your academic accomplishment will be compared to. Since this is for Express Entry Canada, we will select Canada. Country of Education. If you have done our country of education from any other country, then select that country. Status of your education. If you have completed, select completed. So select your degree program. If you have done your bachelor, master's or doctor, select accordingly. 
name of the institution. So I have done my bachelor degree from University of Mumbai. Then the name of diploma or certificate. So I have done my bachelor of pharmacy. Click on view requirements. It's important that you read all this section. This is specifically for University of Mumbai students. And here it will list your you know your degree program what are the requirements so if you see for the bachelor of engineering it says that mark sheet representing years one and four of your study must be issued and attested by the university of mumbai mark sheet for years two and three of your study program which is semester three to six can be issued and attested by the university of mumbai or the college you attended so please go through this this specific section then look at the your requirement checklist section and so basically these are the documents which we need to send whether you whether it's you or your university needs to send so the first one is they are asking about a degree certificate which is final or provisional certificate this is and we can upload this document in the WES website under my account the second is statement of marks which is university issued and attested and this one for this document we have to contact our University of Mumbai to send your documents electronically to WES you cannot send your document directly to WES. WES will not accept that document. So it's important that you contact your university and let them know to send a document directly to the WES. And there's one helpful form which is called an academic request form. Let's look, take a look at this form. So it says that's complete the top part of the form. You must include your WES reference number. Submit this form to the registrar, controller of examination or other authorized official where you obtain your credential. The third step is print additional copy of this form as necessary. So once you create your account in WUS, the WUS will give you a reference number. So you have to fill out this information. Uh, your name, uh, your institution name, that is your university name, country, the degree name, the year you passed your examination, the major, and student ID or roller number. And then you need to sign it and date it. The second part, which is section B, this will be completed by your university now let's go back to the video so click on apply now the first question is asked where will you use your evaluation so select Canada now in this one it gives you three options the first one is WES standard application this is for higher or continuing education second is EC application for IRCC immigration refugees and citizenship of Canada and this is what we need to select the third one is for agri food pilot program which we are not going to talk about so you have to select this app, uh, section for IRCC for the express entry Click on create account. Select the information accordingly. Now this is the mailing address where they will send your document. Just confirm your information. Fill out all the required information. Now here it asks about your credential. So like I mentioned earlier, if you have done your master's degree, then only put out the master's degree information. If you have done your PhD, 
then it's best to put out your only PhD information. For the sake of this video, I'm going to select a bachelor's degree. Here you passed out. Click next. Now, now this is the address which you have entered. The recipient one is you, where you will get your document. And by default, the WS send the document to the IRCC recipient two. So just confirm your address. If you want to make any changes, click on edit and modify your address. Click next. Now, this is a processing time and it shows about the amount that we have to pay, which is $220 in Canadian dollar. Click on next. Select a delivery option for each recipient. So for the IRCC, they only need a soft copy. They do not need a hard copy. So I would I would mention that it will be better if you choose this option, the standard tracking one, which does not give you any tracking information. And like I mentioned earlier, your ECA report will be delivered directly electronically to the Immigration, Refugee and Citizenship of Canada. This is the address where your university will need to send the document to the WES. Click next. So just review the information one more time. Click on each of this, click next. Then it asking about to confirm your name and date of birth. If you have not a resident of Canada, then select this option. This includes the total cost. Select the payment method and click on submit. As I promised earlier that I will show you my WS and ECA report and this is the ECA report which I got it from in October 2019. As you can see it shows my Canadian equivalency summary which is master's degree my name, uh, credential authentication, documents were sent directly by the institution, country, United States of America. So I did my master's degree in USA and I only sent my master's degree to the WS. Credential, Master of Science, year I did my master's degree was 2015. This is the university name. It says that the state is a recognized institution. My major was drug regulatory affairs. So I hope you guys have liked this video. If you haven't subscribed my channel, please consider subscribing. I will see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye and thanks for watching.